Hello everybody, today I have the November scroller box. Let's open it up and uh, see what's inside. Oh, it's a little beat up. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's cute. So they've started making their stickers a little bit more exclusive. This looks like it's a bunch of like ballpoint pen scribbles. I actually have... Oof. This is what they usually look like. Looks like this one is a uh, November exclusive. Here we have the menu of items. At the top we have some... All oh, these feel so funny. What is this? Feel kind of rubbery. These are the Stedler Ergosoft 157 pencils. What's going on near the lead? They look like candy. <laughs> we have a purple, a turquoise, and a pink. Purple, turquoise, and pink. Oh, they're triangle shaped, I just noticed. Oh, there you go, you can see this way. The little triangles so they don't roll away. The nifty. <laughs> Next in the box, there's some ballpoint pens. Oh, in the same colors. Look at that. We have purple. This one's more of a blue and a pink. These are the Bic Crystal 1.6 millimeter pens. Yeah, that's way bluer than the pencil. Ooh, that is a pretty pink pen. So far, it's just like a bunch of doodle supplies. There's a uh, pen lid with the double clippies. So let's keep looking. <laughs> see, we have the Pentel Hybrid White Gel Pen. It's got a little rubber grip. Draw over top of this. Can you see? That's how well it works on each of these colors. When it comes to white gel pens, I think the best trick is to just be very soft and to go over the spot a bunch of times and you can usually get a pretty opaque line. You see that? It even works on the pencil. Works a little bit better on the pen though. Oh, geez. Oh, it's so cool. What a... This is the Queen or Graphite Stick in 6V. It's 10.5 millimeters. It's super cold. Let's see what it does. So it's just like a giant fat pencil. Ooh, look at that. I bet you can use the side of it too. And the back. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Not sure when I would use this, but it's interesting. There's no wood or no eraser. Luckily it has this little plastic wrapper so that you don't get the lead all over your hand. That's different. I've never seen something like that. I've seen woodless pencils, but this has a little bit more novelty to it. Oh, this must be where the cap goes. Bloop. How weird looking is that? This is the one millimeter Helix Oxford ballpoint pen in the color black. Okay, yeah. Basic ballpoint pen. Not sure why they included that. I feel like everybody owns something like that. <laughs> Last couple things in here. This is the Kui Noor. It's just a graphite pencil without an eraser. Yeah, basically it's just a pencil. I don't know if it's in the color gray or not, but it just looks like a basic pencil. Let's see, this is the Kui Noir eraser. So it's actually, it's a pencil that looks like an eraser. Nifty. You can erase detailed points. That's kind of cool. Gets dirty real quick. And lastly, it looks like a blending stump. Yeah, paper stump blender. So you blend stuff out. That works really well with that 6B pencil. Well, if we do that and then we use the eraser. That actually is really cool. Look at that. Can you see? Can you see? Use the blending stump and then the eraser. It's almost like drawing in white. That's kind of cool. Works a little bit better than trying to go straight onto the heavy pencil. Good to know. The art print for this month. Well, that's pretty crazy. Look very real. Those are drawings. Jeez. Who did this? Taylor Brooker, illustrator and graphic designer from the UK. Oh, if you like their art, you can check them out. Boop, 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 doo. On Instagram, YouTube, and a Twitter. I really like this mouth and that nose. Get over here for inspiration. Candy, Melody Pop. Oh, does it have a whistle in it? Oh, we used to have these in the US, <clears throat> but they like stopped making them and I couldn't find them anywhere. But when I was a kid and they had like a little slider and you're like, <whistles> oh, yep, see, there's a slider in here. I bet it's the same. <laughs> oh, so this is the Lecturm 1917. Jot book. I've actually looked at their bullet journals and they were kind of on the pricey side. I feel like it was like 20 bucks for one. This is a bit slimmer. Ooh, look at those yellow pages. Mmm, yummy. Oh, they're numbered? Okay, I can see why they're expensive then. Look at that. Each page. This obviously isn't a bullet journal, it's blank, but look at that. Each page is numbered. Section for your name. That page feels really thin. Table of contents, and then you can put your page number on there. Paper feels pretty thin. Like you can see text through there. So I definitely wouldn't use markers. I can see why they included pencils and pens. So hopefully won't bleed through it. It's pretty nifty. 
For the November challenge, it says try and use one art supply and create something using just the one art supply, kind of like what Taylor did over here. But that feels like, I don't know, neglecting all the other art supplies. <laughs> so part two of the challenge is to try and create something using every single one of these art supplies. And that seems a little bit more my speed, so why don't we give that a try? Let's open it up to this page. Make some room on my desk. Okay, now, well, there's a lot of like pastel and like feminine colors here. And it makes me think of like a princess. So I think what would be cool is if I didn't draw a princess, you know? You know what I'm saying? And I think I know what I want to do. I might have to bring out my kneaded eraser for this, but I'm going to start with the pencil pencil. <laughs> the plain old pencil. I feel like all the supplies in here are kind of like doodle supplies. I don't know if I would classify them as art supplies. And I guess this thing, people probably can make some pretty fancy schmancy stuff with this. But as someone who likes paints and markers, this box definitely wasn't my thing. But I do love drawing in ballpoint pen, so it's not all bad. Got a head up at the top, we got a body that goes underneath the head, some legs, oh, like that. I forgot the line of action, my bad. Nice big shoes, I freaking love drawing big tree trunk shoes. <laughs> and some arms out this way. Not bad, okay. Now that we've laid him out on the page, I need to start making some decisions about like which way I want his head to be looking and things like that. And do I want him to hold something? I kinda wanted him to hold a skateboard. I've been practicing drawing like skateboards and roller skates lately for other reasons. So might as well take advantage of that. I'm gonna have him look that way, that could be cool. Where would the eyes be? Maybe around there, jawline, nose would be there, mouth would be there. Fat eyebrows, ooh, that's fun. <laughs> Maybe a hat? Maybe the hat's backwards. <laughs> Cause he's so original. I think I'll put him in a sweatshirt. A little oversized sweatshirt maybe. Rolled up to the uh, elbows. A long shirt and then some uh, skater boy pants. <laughs> I might put this hand in this sweatshirt pocket. That might make the pose a little bit more interesting. What's squeaking? try again on the next page and if I like that one better I'll go back to that one. Little man spreading action. The skateboards crossed his legs like that. Hands on top. I kind of like in this one better. What do you think? A or B? A or B? I'm going with B so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> But I still like to know your opinion. Okay, let's work on that face. Whoop. And then that some detail. Those nice big eyebrows. That sounds like something fun to draw. It's kind of just my thing. Some hair sticking through there. Hmm. That actually kind of looks like a dude. Wow. Boom, boom. I can't complain about that. Can you tell I've been practicing? <laughs> kind of forgotten about the sweatshirt. Do I still want the sweatshirt? Maybe I'll just do a rolled up long sleeve instead of the sweatshirt. So I get just, just draw a bunch of wrinkles like this. Yes. Oh man, I love drawing rolled up sleeves. It's kind of a problem. Isn't it? <laughs> Let's draw some boxers. He wears his pants at his hips. <laughs> there we go. How's that? <laughs> I hate when guys do that, but not everyone's out in the world to please me. These hands. Give him a big thick bracelet. Those hands are a little weird. We'll come back to that. Oh, I forgot the skateboard. Where'd, where'd the skateboard go? See, it was going from knee to knee. So it'd be like, okay, that's all, that's all going bye-bye. I think this elbow needs to move out here to make sense. Does that? Yeah, let's try it. This paper's pretty thin, so I gotta be careful about erasing. I think I could really make a mess. Is that better? Worse? Better? Worse? All right, now I just need to add the wheels in. I need a reference for that, because that's what I keep having trouble with. I've been drawing a lot of skateboards lately, and I feel like I always mess up on the wheels. Let's check out a reference. Wheels are actually quite small. Like right here. Move this arm a bit. Just erase a smidge. Draw some wheels. Little tiny ones. And then they have like a long shaft like that. Something like this. I don't think that's too bad. Let's put another one over here. And the angle of this. 
those would be like here, I think. And you can't really see as much as the other one. Uh, okay. I think I wanna thicken up this skateboard a bit. Give it some depth. It's got interesting shoes. I just sort of made them up in my head. <laughs> some detailing on the pants. Legs a little short. I was trying to make it in the distance, but I really, really love the way the shoe's drawn and I don't wanna mess that up. So next up, colors. Actually, wait, I should probably ballpoint pen this with the ballpoint pen. Let's just lightly erase it so I can hopefully still see what the heck's going on. Eyebrows. I feel like line art's the most boring part of art. Because all you're doing is tracing what you already drew. <laughs> Hoping you don't mess it up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and color in his hair with the ballpoint pen. Yeah, I think that was a good decision. Kinda messed up on the wheel, but no one will notice. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is go in and color. I kinda want this turquoise color for the pants. I'm just feeling that, so might as well go in and do it. Do a light color first. The last time I used colored pencils, it was on this like super textured paper and I really didn't like the way that turned out. But this is much smoother paper and I'm getting a much smoother even coat with this and I'm liking that a lot better. But I can even get it darker. There you go for shading. Mm -hmm. Looks like jeans. That really wasn't my intention. Oh well. So it's supposed to be more green than blue. Now either want maybe a light coat over the knees. Maybe, maybe. Just erase that a little. Make it even lighter. For the boxers, I think I want to use all of these pins. Make some plaid. I'm gonna color that in with the pink a little. <laughs> Not too shabby. I think a pink hat would be kind of cute. I'll do the shading with the pen. And then color in the rest with the pencil. Thinking graphite, and I'll kind of try to shade his face. Let's see what happens. Luckily, I can erase if I hate it. Right? Blending stump, blending stump. Wow, a little bit of lead goes a long way. Okay, now I'm going to use the eraser, which is this little white one, and tone it down a bit. Even tone it down a little bit more with the needed eraser. Oh no! Where'd that come from? Curse you! Oh, and then I can go over this again, and it makes a lighter tone. Okay, okay. Color in the nose and then use the eraser for a little bit of shine. Ooh, yeah. Oh, actually what I need is the pen. That's the pink one. The black pen. Make his eyebrows a little darker. Now I need to do the same for his arms. Where's my smudger? There's my smudger. One of the sides is softer than the other, and I feel like it smudges better. Eraser, some highlights. Let's use the blue pen for the necklace. Like so, and then the blue pencil for the little beads. It would be cool if it was like a color blocked shirt and like this part was purple. Like that. I remember I used the chameleon colored pencils and they were like very similar colors to this and I drew a princess. So I'm really glad that I'm drawing something different and out of my comfort zone because these colors are kind of all in my comfort zone. So I'm drawing something out of my comfort zone but it still feels a little bit more safe. It was a good idea. Some shading. I could do a little bit more of that with the purple. Is there a pen I didn't use? I'm kind of digging the white sneakers. Like it, I don't know. Some mountains. Maybe use a little more purple. All right, now last thing I think is the skateboard. I'm thinking I wanna do this design on the skateboard. So let me practice over here. Does that kind of look like that? I think so. All right, let's do that to the skateboard then. Try to do an even coat of scribbles. Uh, all right, pink is done. Fill in the, try to fill in the white space. So basically I'm scribbling and aiming for any part that doesn't have pen already kind of thing. Lastly, purple, purple, where's purple? There we go. Don't 
doesn't really stand out, but we have the white gel pen. Boop, 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 boop. And hopefully we can like outline it, make it pop a little more. Give him some highlights in his eyeballs and his nose. 6B pencil thing. Darken up down here. Because that like the gray tones up there are just really bold. I don't want to kind of even it out by adding some gray tones down here. Like the hands you think would help, but I did a icky job with the hands, so I just wanna pull some of that down here. We can actually take our eraser and draw like a little little wedge maybe. Maybe some cracks in it. Yeah, just some detail of some kind. Look, I see bleachers back here or something. Do I remember what bleachers look like? Not really. There you go, let's sign it. Okay, sign it over here. I really like this purple pen. It's like soft and like jelly, like a ballpoint pen. Bic makes pretty good pens, I gotta say. Anyway, <laughs> I think I completed the challenge. I used every single art supply. Is there something I missed? Use that, use that, use that, use that, use that, use that. I used that, I used this barely, but I did. I used this, I used this, I used this, and I used that. <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> so there we go, there we have it. There's my uh, little skater boy. I think my favorite part is his face, but I don't know if the gray tones really go well with the pastels, but other than that, I'm kind of happy with this. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> I really just enjoyed drawing the sneakers. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in getting your own Scrawlerbox subscription, I'll have a link in the description. Scrawlerbox was nice enough to send me this one for free to try out and to share with you. So thank you, Scrawlerbox, for that. Anyway, I hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!